Before discussing the habits and mindset, let's first uncover the truth behind many common fears and excuses that starting entrepreneurs face. First, let's talk about the 14 most common excuses. Excuse number one, I'm too young or too old. There is no such thing as a right age to start a business. There are success stories of teenagers as well as of those of elders. Success has nothing to do with age. Certainly, life experiences teach a lot, but you can always start and keep learning. Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook at age 19, became a millionaire in his early 20s and a billionaire in his early 30s, and Colonel Sanders started KFC restaurants in his 60s. As you can see, it's never too early or too late for success. Excuse number two, I'm not rich. It's a common myth that in order to start a good business, you need to have a lot of capital. Many successes started with little to no financial investment. Many of them are worth billions now. So it's all about how valuable the product or service is, not how big it all started. Excuse number three. What if I fail? Failure is part of every success. There is no success, whether in life or business, without previous trial and error. I always tell my friends that in order to prevent as much mistakes as possible, it is crucial to learn from experts before, and still, that wouldn't guarantee 100% success from the very first trial. So do not let this stop you from pursuing your dreams. Even if you fail, look at the lessons and start again. Success comes to those who never give up. Excuse number four. My friends or family don't support me. When support and encouraging words from loved ones can play a part in success, that's still not a must. A lot start their entrepreneurial journey alone, or worse, they were made fun of. Like Soishiro Honda of Honda Matters, who was laughed at by his colleagues and teachers, but that did not stop him from building his empire. Excuse number five, I have nobody to guide me. When having someone as a mentor can be very valuable, again, it is not a must. You can always get the best teachings from experts through books, courses, and many other sources of information. Excuse number six. I don't have time. We all have the same 24 hours a day. There is no difference between me, you, and Elon Musk. If you already have a lot of time consuming activities such as your job or family, let me tell you that there are women with newborns who are successful mompreneurs. And you all know how demanding taking care of a baby can be. It's a 24-7 job, so if she can do it, Anyone can do it. Excuse number seven. Taxes are high. So what? I honestly prefer sharing hundreds of thousands of dollars with my state while being free and doing what I love instead of impatiently waiting for my 9 to 5 jobs paycheck at the end of each month. And why do you think that's a bad thing? I guess that giving back to my community is such a wonderful thing. It is actually one of the main reasons I started this journey myself. So yeah. Imagine tons of people leading a better life, including yourself, thanks to you. Isn't that awesome? Excuse number eight. I don't have enough capital. If you need a small investment, get a job for some time and save money for it. If you need a big one, ask yourself, do I really need it? Isn't there any way I can start a lot cheaper? For example, if your dream is to build a restaurant, I would suggest you to get your home kitchen verified, start cooking and selling, and just work on promotion. And this can be done through many ways, friends, family, social media, a YouTube channel where you share your recipes, a cooking blog. And this should help you not only to raise capital, but to get known as well. So people would love to come at your restaurant once open. Excuse number nine, it's my first time. I have no expertise. To start, you need expertise. And to have expertise, you need to start. Don't you hear this a lot? Me too. It's like the egg chicken dilemma except this one has an answer. You have to start. It's no secret that practice makes you perfect. Enjoy making mistakes and learning from them. Start small, take calculated risk and go for it. Everything has a start and we all had our first time in life, whether it's at trying to walk as a baby, getting our first A at school or succeeding at business for the first time. 10, the market is saturated. So what? That actually means there is a market, there is demand and that's awesome. The only thing you need to work at is providing even more value to differentiate yourself from others in the industry. I love this saying by Miles Beckler. Market saturation is a myth. There is plenty of room for you at the top. So I guess that's pretty encouraging and that's an awesome opportunity. Just have fun being creative on how you can become a pioneer in your industry. 
Don't worry about it, we'll cover this later in the course. Number 11. I am not famous. This one is very common, especially among bloggers and vloggers. I need X thousand followers to be successful, a lot stay. In order for you to have such an audience, you gotta start and putting content out there. You know, right? If that makes sense. 12. I physically can't. Someone with disability can find it a hindrance to professional success, but that's not true at all. Or if you can't walk or see, as long as you think, you can do wonders. If you can provide value, that's literally all that is required from you. So please, if you have some difficulties due to health problems or disabilities, do not let that stop you from chasing your dreams. This is Nick. He was born without limbs. He is a motivational speaker, author, writer, philanthropist, and humanitarian. He's in love with his lovely wife and has a happy family of four kids. He inspires millions of people around the world. If he can do it, why not you? 13. I am a lazy person. And who told you that business isn't for you? If you can just take consistent action towards your goals, no matter how small they are, you will get there. It only takes a little bit of self-control and self-awareness to achieve success. Of course, you can always work harder if you want quicker results. But for now, just start small and gradually add more work. It can actually be a good thing to be lazy because you'll always look for the most simpler and easier ways to do things which will save you a lot of time, money and energy. 14. I'm not ready yet. And you'll never be. Nobody is 100% ready for anything. There is always room for improvement. If this is stopping you from achieving your goal, remember that done is better than perfect. You are not asked to be perfect. Just do what you can and don't let anyone convince you otherwise. If you see that you spend a lot of time thinking and little doing, you gotta know that it's time to start thinking some action and getting it done. That's it for the most common excuses people have when it comes to starting a business. Now let's discuss the common fears we tend to have before starting this journey. So see you in the next video.